Calls to 911 that are not emergency are, are wasting the time of dispatchers with some pretty crazy requests. These calls, they happen all the time, and you pay for it. Courtney Garris explains the outrageous cost of 911 abuse. He had this burning sensation in his chest. A cold and snowy December day. He thought it was just heartburn. It's a day Trish Fry will never forget. Oh my God, his face, was, he was so pale and he was basically shaking. Her husband had a heart attack. I immediately picked up the phone and dialed 911. Some people go their entire life never having to call 911. 911, what is the address of your Trish emergency? used it to save her husband's life. And then a few months later. I had lost a lot of blood. She used it to save her own. I had hit the back of my chair and it had torn open my entire surgical site. Trish believes the quick response by 911 saved her life. And my husband. But what if those resources were not available? What if emergency crews were tied up by nonsense calls? Calls that end up costing you money. There are people that take advantage of the system. Yes, I was just driving through a lot of Kmart and um, I see a lot of suspicious activity. It's about five guys in the back. Kmart. That is Aisha Jackson. According to police, the 911 call was bogus. It's a call to take us away from her and, and send squads across the city and, and, and to get, our, get them away from her traffic stop. A fake call made by Jackson to get out of a ticket. A trick police say she pulled seven times, and each time it costs you money. $150, $200, $250 a call that is taxpayer money going towards um, us going to a bogus 911 call. So we did the math. Seven prank calls just to get out of traffic tickets adds up to 1500 of your tax dollars. Aisha Jackson was fined more than 650 bucks, but that's just the beginning. I had a 911 cell call that plotted in your area. Uh, uh, sounded like a pocket dial. <laughs> Dispatch sends out emergency crews to every 911 hangup. You never know until you send somebody to the scene to make sure everything is okay. It's protocol and the safe thing to do. What's not safe is this. This is 911. What is the address? Uh, this is not actually an emergency. I tried your non uh, non emergency number, but nobody answered it. Or people asking what time the parade is. Yet another nonsense call. And there is more at stake than your money when it comes to these fake 911 calls. The risk to the to not only the officers drive in an emergency fashion, but the community is also, you know, something we, we have to consider as we drive. And, uh, you know, we don't want to up those risks any more than we need to. And by calling 911 without a real emergency, you never know who may be waiting, who desperately needs the help. Had I not been able to dial 911, and had, I, had they not been here, I probably wouldn't be here. That was Courtney Garish reporting. People aren't charged for making the nonsense calls. We're only told it happens when it's a repeat offender.